Live from Columbia, South Carolina, WIS News 10 starts now. New video is first at six of the exact moment that an EF2 tornado ripped through downtown Bamberg. The National Weather Service confirmed the twister's strength earlier today. And at first, the video shows heavy rain and wind. Then the destruction is revealed. You can see here bricks covering Main Street after a historic building partially collapsed. And tonight, that small community begins the long road to recovery. Derek Rush joins us live from Bamberg after spending the day speaking with residents who were there during the worst of it. So, Derek, what are those residents saying tonight? You know, some of their description was as a freight train. That's how they said that the winds sounded coming through the city of Bamberg last night. And the aftermath left the downtown area, the Main Street portion more specifically, unrecognizable. After severe weather tore through portions of the state, Wind speeds were probably right around that 120 to 125 mile an hour range. Residents in the city of Bamberg say their beloved Main Street District is unrecognizable. We rolled down and we were just shocked at what we saw. Roofs mangled, warehouses dismembered. Even county officials said they had to hunker down before they were able to help others. This is the actual branch that came through my window. That came through the window. That came through my bedroom window. Once it was silent and still, I came out because I heard the glass shattering. You could hear the sound of what sounded like a freight train. Like I said, I called my kids to say, I'm in a tornado. I don't know what's going to happen, so I'm just calling to say I love you because it was that scary. The National Weather Service now confirming an EF2 tornado was the culprit behind the widespread damage. Now our estimates about 300 to 400 yards wide. The damage, the community says it will work to rebuild together. It says stuff like this we could clean up, you know, it, um, it won't replace a lot of things, you know, things that is of value to you, but at least no one was killed. We are a small community, but we are a strong community and the support and everyone rallying around each other is is absolutely outstanding. Now, Alicia Moore says that the encouragement from Bamberg County officials, guys, is to not be a bystander and come by these buildings taking pictures as a lot of the building structure is now compromised, leaving that unstable as first response agencies and the National Weather Service continue to survey the area and further assess the damages. We'll have more on line for sure. But for now, reporting live here in Bamberg, I'm Derek Rush, WIS News 10. All right, Derek, thank you so much. Meanwhile, the National Weather Service also confirmed an EF1 tornado caused minor damage in part of Chapin. The National Weather Service believes the twister started as a water spout on Lake Murray before hopping onto land as a tornado. This happened in the West Ridge Court area, according to officials.